filial duties. There's an interesting thing that's happening in many cultures, and every culture believes that they're very special in one regard when it comes down to something called filial duties. You know, what do I owe to my parents? And in Malaysia, in Singapore, in India, they always say, what well, we are in Asia, we have this very specific culture, and you definitely have to listen to your parents no matter what. Well, and then they said, you know what, oh, you guys in America and Europe are different. We used to be the same up to 1968, when the hippie punk revolution came, you know, flower power. However, I was raised very strongly in filial duty culture, if you so wish. What is the problem here right now? To a certain degree, is it good to respect your parents? Well, yes, it is, arguably, but here's the problem. And it's a seemingly hairy one. Our parents are our parents. That's a technical fact. They made a child, you, me. But many parents are, some of them are mature, some of them are blatantly emotionally immature, for example. However, as we said with hormonal addictions, we get educated to absolutely believe that our parents are the know-all, be-all cusp of knowledge and, and goodness or morals. And the problem that goes with that is that we actually give away the power of our own decision making. Because we say, don't go there, don't touch that, you must follow regardless and unquestioningly. I want to share a case study with you that there is a time and a place to actually question this and that you have the right to say, I will accept a certain degree of respect, definitely. How much should I follow the advice? And what is ethically the parameters within I, which I should be filial? I had a session a couple of weeks ago, and there was a young woman in that session. Intelligent, very intelligent. Interestingly enough, she had an anger issue. Everything you asked her, and you just poked her a little bit, she went angry. And it was interesting, I observed that for a while. And then I said, you know, other people in the room said, yeah, but that's how she is. She's just, you know, short fuse. You know, short fuse when you get angry real fast. So that's interesting. So we had a coffee break and I took her aside. And I said, how old are you? Oh, late 20s. Are you always like that? Yeah, very short fuse. That's how I am. You know, that's how I was built. I said, really? So the usual thing, let's talk about your family a little bit. Turns out that she was the sixth child of a marriage between a woman and a public servant. And the public servant was not, I mean, public servant, but a lower rank of not such a great income. So the first question is to say, wow, a guy that, you know, has a lower income level, nothing wrong with that, but makes six children, that is a huge financial burden. So first of all, you know, there's stress in the family. The next thing that happened is that the man left the wife with the six children, started a new family with another woman and had four more children. So we've got financial stress added to actually emotional abandonment. So far, not a pretty picture, but now it gets truly interesting. The man is now in retiring age, comes back to this daughter who suffered, who saw her mother suffer, had to make her own money to get through college and university, worked hard for her money, and he comes back and says, you owe me money. Why? Because I'm your father. It's your filial duty. So here's the crux, ladies and gentlemen. Being a father or a mother is not the same thing with making a baby. And this is where then this unspoken agreement comes in. I made you, you owe me. No, the fact is you made me, but you were not around to actually father me. So filial duties, you have the right to examine your filial duties and question them. Human beings make children, but that doesn't mean that they actually will do the right thing for their own children, financially, emotionally, or otherwise. And that allows you to sometimes step back and go, no, I don't have to take this unquestioningly. Consider that possibility, study it deeply, and it does not mean that you're disrespecting anybody, but it also means that you have the right to choose freely or with more freedom what you are willing to do for other human beings or not, based on how the relationship has been in the past. I trust the topic was interesting. We'll see you next week.